Yesterday you heard why most speech introductions fail. They're too centered on the speaker, and this is a mistake when you're just meeting a, an audience for the first time, they know nothing about you, and the question they have in their minds is essentially, what can you do for me? So how do you structure your introduction? Before we get into a point-by-point -point, uh, group of tips, remember this. Audiences don't care what you've done, at least not until you tell them what you can do for them. And one of the best ways you can do that is to tell them not only what you've accomplished, but what you've helped other people accomplish, especially those people that are like the individuals in the audience that you're speaking to. For example, if I'm talking to a group of newer speakers who want to learn how to succeed on the platform, I can tell them the story of one of my favorite clients, Patty. She was one of my first speech coaching clients. She really was struggling when I met her. The end result of all of her coaching, uh, working together for a year, is that she got a huge ovation for on the night of her big talk. She had people donating money to her uh, for her foundation on the spot right after her speech. And six months after that, she started employing the, the tool she learned to become a fundraiser and raised over a million dollars for a local organization. That's what I helped her do. This isn't a story about me. It's a story about Patty and what she was able to accomplish. That's what the audience wants to hear. So don't focus on your accomplishments, especially in the first part of your introduction. Or you can even save that for your talk to give yourself more credibility. Tell people what you've done for others that are similar to them, and they'll definitely want to hear what you have to say. In the next tip, we'll start constructing your introduction that will appeal to your next audience.